I'm Brian Reynolds. I'm president of Northwest Helicopters. Northwest Helicopters is a maintenance and overhaul organization that basically specializes in the Bell UH-1H. We're located in Olympia, Washington, in the United States of America. The refurbishment process of the UH-1 is very complicated. The entire process takes about 5,000 man hours with our current system. What will happen is a helicopter will arrive here at our facility, we'll do a full-scale inventory, and then uh, we'll develop our plan as to what we're going to do. At that point, we will totally disassemble and strip the helicopter. After the helicopter is disassembled, it will go into our blasting facility, and this is where all of the paint is removed using walnut shells and uh, high-pressure air. After that, it will go into our inspection program. At that position, they will decide what repairs need to be done, what panels need to be replaced, and they will basically pull and replace sheet metal panels at will wherever the repairs are, are needed. They will manufacture or acquire all the parts they need to basically put the helicopter back into a new configuration. The rotating components of the helicopter will go into our overhaul facility that does just the component overhauls. These individual components will all be disassembled, inspected, and fully overhauled, reassembled, and be ready for the helicopter fuselage when it returns to the assembly area. Our helicopter paint facility uh, was custom built basically for the UH-1 helicopter. It's big enough to where it fits the entire UH-1. We have a complete custom mixing bank system. If you bring us a picture of what you want your helicopter to look like, our guys will make it look like that. Our guys are very experienced in the custom paint business. And some of the modifications uh, that we can do to the helicopter, there's engine upgrades, searchlights, forward-looking infrared systems, there's avionics upgrades, so we do a full glass cockpit upgrade. We basically fully modernize it to everything that's on all the new helicopters today. Well, the way we build a helicopter here is we build it in parts and pieces, and every little section is kind of handled in a different operation. And then at the end, it all comes together. When we build it like one big model, we just assemble the whole thing together. After it's fully assembled, it will go through a complete quality assurance inspection and we'll check everything prior to going into its first flight. Go from one of the helicopter all the way to the other. Once we're to that point, uh, the helicopter's outside, the pilot and the quality inspector will again review the helicopter together, setting, adjusting everything with the helicopter on the ground. And once they agree that we're ready to make the first start, we'll start the helicopter, start testing, checking. And once those are complete, the uh, quality inspectors will again go back through the helicopter and check all of the adjustments and everything that's been taken care of. And once they agree that we're ready to fly, we'll just hover the helicopter in there and we'll start doing more checks and inspections, adjustments. And uh, after that, land the helicopter again and then go completely back through all the adjustments and checks. And after they agree, we'll go into the forward flight testing, which is basically the last part of uh, the flying checks. For our parts and logistics systems, we use a lot around the world. We have a $30 million parts inventory, brand new UH-1 parts. We have a lot of the rare parts of the helicopter, and we can service our customers around the world and keep them flying. We have a flight training checkout program, so when you come to get a UH-1 from us, we will train you on all the modifications. We also provide uh, maintenance training and instruction on our helicopter that our clients can attend, and we'll basically give them a run-through of what we do to the helicopter, what to look for, how to maintain it, how to take care of it. They will also teach them our logistic systems, so how to get parts for the helicopter, spare parts. We stay in contact with the client, we keep them flying, keep them running because they're kind of our future for our next client that is going to show them what we provide. We're really looking at the future of the UH-1. We plan to head 30 years from today with the helicopter flying and operating. That's really a big deal for us is expanding the future, having the customers comfortable that it's going to be supportable, something that they're going to be able to count on. This is what we do here. This helicopter is what we do and that's what we're going to be doing for many years to come.